what's going on guys it is trey back again with another video we are here in hohenheim germany at my first ever german house party and this is well first things first i got a beer in hand so that's how you know we're having a good time but also also got some makeup going on as well so we're gonna have a good time and uh yeah, I'm gonna take you guys in here. I don't know what Golden's up to, but I'm gonna try to get him away from here. Oh, he's got a ball. Come on, buddy. Let's go back up to the party. Come on, come on. All right. Come on, come on buddy. All right, so I wanna show you guys the food. Look at how amazing the food looks. Hey, come on, buddy. Let's go up. All right, let's take you guys up. Golden forgot how to use his legs. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh. Come on, buddy. Sorry, guys. I'm going to leave Golden with his mom for a second. So we got the pool. Got some marijuana here, I think. Always good. Ah, rap for live. Sorry, man. Dude, once you get better, hit me up. Grab a beer, have a good time. It's just so beautiful, man. I've never been to a party like this before. Such like a lovely garden. We've got a greenhouse here with the DJ booth in it. Germany, why didn't I move here years ago? This is seriously like such an awesome, awesome time. This is like my 10th beer. I know it's not good to admit, but hopefully I don't get demonetized for this. Man, I cannot wait till nighttime because I know once they turn these lights on, it's going to be absolutely stunning out here. Look at the beer fridge over there. Oh, my gosh. They actually they actually got some American stuff in there, which I'm pretty shocked by. Hey, somebody from North Carolina. How's it going? Where, where are you from in North Carolina? I got family in the Charlotte area, Winston, Winston Salem area as well so i'm i i know north carolina pretty well I, I actually can't believe i'm seeing somebody from north carolina such an awesome state let me show you guys the beer fridge real quick raleigh nice raleigh durham all right guys so we got Not gonna lie, I probably had like 10 Spaten beers. Oh, we got a pretty good selection. Mm -hmm. 
Can somebody from Germany tell me what on earth this is right here? Because for me, it looks like weed. I'm not trying to be funny, but this seriously looks like weed here. Can somebody please tell me what on earth this is? All right, if somebody could let me know, please do. Got a nice little area where you could chill. Have a good time. We got some tomatoes over here growing. Let me take you guys through the garden. Oh, this is just so nice and so relaxing up here. Jeez. Look at this. The really crazy thing, as I know you guys probably can't see on video, there's like 50 bumblebees buzzing around, but they're just not bothering you. And that's how you know. This is the area where you want to be. When the bees are around, this is where you want to be. Got a guy over here showing off the garden. Oh man, oh, I didn't even see this when I was over here, but we got some tom tomatoes. Look at this. Guys, I literally have on some like Gucci boots right now in a garden, I can't believe this. I'm just kidding, I'm, I'm really not that bougie. <laughs> We got some eggplant here. Oh man. Yeah, this is, this is nice. This is one of the nicer, more relaxed, more chill parties that I've been to. Just look at how nice this is. This is such a nice garden, man. People just love, love their homes here in Germany. And uh, let me take you guys over to these sunflowers, but first let's walk past the marijuana again. Ah, oh, look at it, look at it. Sunflowers, got the bee in there. It's just so nice, man. By the way, I'm sure you guys are probably wondering, I think I mentioned it earlier, but I'll mention it again. We are drinking a Munchener, Munchener Hill. I'm sorry, I know I'm butchering that, but this is a divine beer. And the reason why you're seeing a lot of Bavarian based beer is because the owner is actually from Bavaria. So no surprise. I just, oh my gosh. This is one of the nicest backyards that I've, I've been in party wise. This is so nice. There's so many like bees and so much wildlife out here, but they're not bothering you, right? And that just goes to show you that there's like a good relationship between you know the garden and the homeowners and uh it's just it's really nice to be here food's amazing let me take you guys back through got a nice seating area here got a nice little tent i don't know why you need a tent because it's it actually feels pretty nice out it's not too hot but uh yeah it's just nice to be here actually i'm gonna take you guys the back way back through the garden Wow, 26 people here. I've never had this many people in a live. Nice to meet all of you. Um, man, I don't know what to say. Thank you guys for being here. I just wanna show you guys really how like much fun we're having at this party. I didn't know what to expect when my wife was like, Trey, we're going to a party. I, I didn't know what to think because in the US, whenever you go to like a house party, it, it could be pretty interesting, right? Because most people are like drinking to like get jacked up or to get effed up. But here in Germany, we've been drinking a lot, but like everybody's having a good time. Nobody's getting like hammered. And I know I said I had 10 beers earlier. I've actually only had like six, but I still feel really good. I've had some great conversation with people. Got a chance to whip out the German a little bit. And uh, people are just so nice. Hey. Nice to meet you, Big N from Munich. Back to the food. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Try not to get anybody's license plates in the shot, but. Big N, love you, appreciate you. But yeah, this is a good time. 
And by the way, if you guys are new to the chat, if you guys are just joining, we are here in Hohenheim, Germany. Really nice, smaller town here. It's actually pretty famous for a university. Well, that, I guess that's kind of what Hohenheim is known for. And I'm sure somebody's gonna probably tell me later on that Hohenheim is known for a lot more than that. But I go on jogs here at the university every now and then with my son, so this is what I know it for. Okay, so I got to show you guys. So th these, these are my feet, right? This is a roof. I've never experienced this before. <laughs> you know, I could just climb up here. You know what? If I lived here, it would probably be pretty dangerous because I would just probably sit up here at night, you know, with my son or sit up here with my wife. But this is so, uh, this is so cool. I feel like such a little kid right now. You know, it's like being here in Germany is kind of shaved like 10, 15 years off my life. Because I'm just thinking of all the things that I would do. And, you know, I take my son to parks all the time, right? And I'm just thinking, like, how great the parks are here in Germany. Ali, thank you so much. Um, Philip Bach. This is a typical Gartenfest. Great chance to meet new people. Yes, you are so right. We've met so many new people here. Everybody is so nice and so friendly. And I think one thing that's important to mention is um, everybody is really like open-minded here and friendly and just so genuine, right? You know, you go to some parties in the US, like let, let, let's use LA for example. I know a lot of my American subscribers that are here in the chat are gonna get a kick out of this. But it's like you go to a party in L.A. and it's just people are so superficial and so like, you know, wound up in what they look like. And it's like I feel I feel really bad because I'm the only guy here that's in closed toed shoes. Everybody else has on like flip flops and sandals. And that was that was probably the biggest mistake that I made because I never dress like this. Right. But in the U.S., when you think about a party you know, you, you try to be the best dressed person there. That was a huge mistake on my part. And uh, honestly, probably the next time I come here, I'm going to come in like a white tee and some swim trunks because that's how everybody else is dressed here. And yeah, it's just, I, it, it's been such an eye-opening experience. By the way, I'm going to actually make a video about this experience so i know you guys are here in the live chat but i'm gonna make an actual video about this experience because it has just been so eye-opening and i i actually stressed myself out about coming to this party because i didn't know what to expect i didn't know what we should bring to eat i didn't know what we should wear i didn't know anything and i know at the super last minute i made a post on YouTube asking people like, hey, what, what should I bring to eat? You know, what should I bring? Should I show up early? <laughs> yeah, that, that was um, a big mistake. So, you know, you live, you learn. Germany is constant. Germany's probably the best teacher that I've ever had in my life because it's just blowing my mind constantly with so much great knowledge and information. And yeah, I, I love it here. We're going to go back through this garden. I'm going to take you guys a little bit deeper into the garden because I actually see some lettuce over here. I know I know some of you guys are probably like, Trey, why why you dude, take us back to the party? We want to see the party. But I got to show you, this is really nice, man. Like, you know, I'm getting older, right? You know, I'm a dad, I'm a husband. This is nice. This for me would be nice to have at our place because I don't have to go to the grocery store. And for some of you guys that have really been around the channel for a long time, you will know that we lived on a farm in Hawaii. So, you know, we, we've we had that convenience of being able to grow what we want, have what we want, and just being able to, to live off of the land. 
this is nice. I never thought I would see this at a party, ever. Got a beer in my hand and I'm in a garden. This is nice. This is so nice. Got the DJ getting ready to, to mix it up right now. I, I know that <laughs> you guys are gonna get a good kick out of this. I know that they're about to turn up right now because <laughs> the owner of the house actually said, Trey, I got some schnapps for you. And I'm like, okay, I've had schnapps before. But, like, can you tell me a little bit about it? He was like, no, nah, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'm just going to give it to you and let me know how you feel after. So I'm going to have some schnapps here in a second. And uh, I'll probably have to stop the video because according to everybody, schnapps here is a pretty strong drink. I can hear my son crying from here. So I'm going to need as many shops. I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to need as much schnapps as possible. But um, yeah, I just I just wanted to show you guys real quick. I know it's a little bit of a quicker video. Um, I'm going to go back through the chat, say hi to you guys. Thank you guys. But I just want to let you guys know that like. I'm just I'm so like relaxed, you know, obviously, like being a dad is not easy. Being a parent is not easy. But it's just nice to be here, you know having a good time with my family and um i know i made some huge mistakes you know wearing this nicer outfit i literally got a button up i'm the only dude here with a button up on so huge mistake on my part but it's just you know i i, I tried to bring american la south beach miami party to germany and that that's just not how it is here just be yourself don't try to be you know too flashy or anything like that and uh, you'll have a good time so i think that this video that i put out is going to help a lot of people and um yeah i just i appreciate you guys thank you for being here and uh yeah that hey can somebody let me know do you guys is is the sound good can you guys hear me is the quality good here let me let me show you guys myself real quick so you guys don't think i'm making up the I, I'm not making it up. I literally have makeup on my face. I've never... Guys, I've been to parties all over the U.S., right? Miami, New York, Boston, I'm everywhere. Seattle. I've never had makeup on my face. This is awesome. I've never had glitter on my face. This is awesome. I got a beer. I'm in Germany. Life is good. It really is. So... Um, yeah, it's just, it's good to be here. It really is good to be here. And by the way, the weather today is stunning. So also stay tuned because we're going to head off to, um, it's called Eshtevel. It's a festival in Esslingen. And um, there it's, it's, it's a food and wine festival. So we're going to have a good time there. That's going to come tomorrow. I'll probably drop that video on like Monday or Tuesday. But yeah, stay tuned. So yeah, it's just, can't say this enough. I'm having a good time. Guys, I have to get back to the party because everybody's looking at me like I'm crazy. But I promise, um, I appreciate you guys for being here. And uh, thank you for all the love and support. Germany is an amazing country. Be yourself, love yourself. Um, step outside of your comfort zone and um have a good time life is about having a good time and uh hey hans nice to meet you but uh thank you guys i appreciate you guys post